Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Kenja no Mago. But not just Kenja no Mago. Kenja no Mago, episode 2. Alright, the first episode was pretty freaking awesome, man. I was not expecting it to be, like, that good right off the bat, if I'm being completely honest. Plus, it's another isekai anime, and there's like a million of those now. So, I honestly wasn't expecting much, and I was pretty surprised. So, anyways, in the last episode, we met our main character, Shin. Well, before he was Shin, he was, um, I actually don't think we got his name, but... He started as this normal guy living in our society, he was working his regular 9 to 5, he had a long day, and on his way home from work, he actually got into a car accident, or got hit by a car, and he died there. So he was reincarnated into who we now know as Shin, who, Shin has had a pretty interesting life, I mean we first find him inside of a carriage wreck that got attacked by demons, and he got rescued by none other than the wizard Merlin. The famed, the legend himself, the wizard Merlin came, saved him, and brought him under his wing. And so you know, when you're being trained by Merlin, that's how you know you got a good teacher. And Shin is ridiculous. He's ridiculously strong right now. Even when he was a kid, he was handling every task that was put before him easily without breaking a sweat when he fought his first demon easy when he was learning how to use his sense to find the demon he learned that in seconds so he didn't have any issues i guess um except when he was training against uh oh what was his name was it marcus i don't remember it he was the commander of the knights or the former commander of the knights he was training him how to sword fight that was the only thing he was really struggling in but other than that he grew up he uh, kind of showed off his skills to the king and a couple of the other people from the main town and they were pretty impressed, I was pretty impressed. And then he actually goes into the town and he's thinking of enrolling into the Magic Academy there. So I guess that's what we have to look forward to in this episode. If you guys are excited, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. But with that being said, let's get right into this video. Alright, you guys ready? You got your video posted. If you don't have a video already ready, I have a link to the source video that I'm using in the description so you can go there and pick up the video. But let's get started in, hold up, let me get ready. Alright, three, two, one, go. Alright, let's do this. Main Street Cafe. Oh, this is the girl that he saved. And that's the girl that he thought was super cute at the end. So they can't use magic? Oh, snap! Future classmates? Okay. They're looking pretty bad, too. The night training school. Oh yeah, they didn't see him even use his magic. Dang! He wasn't even using magic. And he was able to handle those clowns like it was nothing. Ah, uh, she's so cute, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love her already. Actually, hmm, I don't know. I have them both tied for me. I, I can't really put one over the other yet. I have to learn more about them. Mm-hmm. Dude, the dynamic duo. Oh wow, and she's a pretty big fan. The wise man and the guru. Oh, they don't even know! <laughs> I 
Oh my gosh. He's like, all right, I think it's best I leave. Dude, I wonder what they're going to do once they find out. They're probably going to lose it. She's not even paying attention. <laughs> she was so mesmerized. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I think we're I think we're onto something. Yeah. <sighs> that is what we all know as love. That's probably the first time she ever fell for anyone. Dude, they don't even know. Who are you? Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, is he one of those preppy- Ooh! <laughs> Sit down! Dig! Man, save it! I don't want to hear it. Look at him. Embarrassed. What are you going to do about it? Call your parents? Dang. Oh, that's a law. Yeah. Hey, step aside, clown. This dude, I like this dude. Put him in his place. Yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> they always come back. Aug. Okay. I like August, though. That's a dope name. Oh! Wait. Uncle Dis's son? So... Oh, yeah, he... Okay, okay. I probably missed that. But yeah, he is the prince. Wait, does he not know who he is? Wait, does he not know? Dude, they don't know. Nobody knows. What a weasel. <laughs> she's probably thinking she's going to ace this. Oh man, I hope I hope for her sake that it's not something bad. Oh. Cast your best magic spell. You're going to need to make some room. You're going to need a uh, freaking padded walls. You're going to need so much. <laughs> Get out of here! That is garbage. Oh, he's probably never done that. Where they name their moves and do a bunch of, like, poses and stuff. Hey! Okay! He's kind of got some swag with it, though. You saw the claps? Oh my gosh, they all suck. And they think they're so awesome. <laughs> oh, Shin. <laughs> Don't blow him back too far. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Enough power to destroy the target. None of them could even put a scratch on that target. Uh, we needed to hold back just a little more. Just a little more. Oh yeah, he would have blown the freaking wall away. None of you guys would be standing if he did it at his full strength. Ooh, top marks. Hey, we passed. I want to see what the girl's scores were, though. She seemed pretty confident. Yep. Hey, let's go. We're gonna have the sauciest outfit out there. Oh, no. He's so passionate about what he's saying, man. He's cool, man. I like him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's falling head over heels for him. They both passed. Oh, is this who I think it is? Oh my gosh. What a loser, man. People like this are the worst. You think your family name is going to carry you. You got to work. You got to put in some effort out here. This man expects to be carried to the top, and then he gets salty when he gets outclassed. Magic defense? Ma wait. Shock suppression. And I didn't read the last one. Oh! Auto healing? That's kind of sick. So what is he putting on there? Absolute magic defense, complete physical shock absorption. Dude. Shin is nuts! Absolute... Oh my gosh. This man is ridiculous. Hey. You already know who it is. Hey, hold your applause. <laughs> man, everybody loves them. And the crazy thing is he put those enchantments on himself. So looking like this is going to be the squad. These four people right here. Sizzillion. All right, you're up, Shin. Blow him away. 
Oh, they didn't know his last name. Now they know. No words, man. No words. I he just has such a punchable face. You know what I mean? Like every time he opens his mouth, you just want to shut him up. Ooh, is she making her move? Shooting her shot? Oh, okay. Is it the dude we first bumped into? Hey, we'll take care of him. Just let us know who it is. It better not be who I think it is. Get this dude out of here! Talking to another man. Oh! Get your hands off of her! What? Your fiance? Who does this dude think he is? You got this. Yup. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, what do you got to say about that? A manager at the finance bureau. My father is the undersecretary there. Yeah. Exactly, you're forgetting the rules, dude. That's true. Kick him out. Get him out of here, dude. This is his second offense. We gave him a warning. He's going to come back with some other underhanded tactic. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. She really is, though. Alright, so far she's beating the girl with the red hair. She's such a fan girl. <laughs> oh wait, that's a dude? Whoa, when I first saw him, I thought that was a girl. I guess, I mean, yeah, I guess you could pass as a dude. I can see it now. Oh? Why that look? Does she know something? Or sense something? Or is she just mean? <laughs> oh! Mm hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Shin's trying to hook her up. National treasure grade? What? Dang. 
So can he do that on anything? Like, can I just hand that guy my t-shirt? Oh, uh, don't say that. Oh, no. It's okay. Hey, she's taking a liking to her. She knows, dude. <laughs> That's true. Oh, maybe she's not so mean. Dude, the feels out here. Oh my gosh. Just like his grandfather. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. I mean, come on, dude. The enchantments you put on there were kind of OD. Mm -hmm. Oh, and how do you intend to do that? Dude, Shin is nuts, man! What the heck? How is he so talented? Mm-hmm. Ah, dang. So maybe sending him a t-shirt isn't that good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. That is not good. That is not good at all. <laughs> They're cherishing this moment. <laughs> He's like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. You can give it to him and then you can stop. <laughs> Hey, the whole squad! Except for her. Hey, you're gonna regret that later. That's all I'm saying. I like her name too, Sicilian. It's creative. It's interesting. It rolls off the tongue nicely. <laughs> Dude, Shin is so busted, man. <laughs> Does this man have any limits?
Yeah, that's true. And reading the room. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Wait for the drop. Mmm. This is some fire. I like how they have the whole team lined up too. And then the vocals are nice. All right, well, that was the end of the episode. I really enjoyed it. I love these new characters we got introduced to. I love how the story's progressing from here, because we all knew that Shin was a beast. But now we're getting some sort of scale to put him on. Like, national treasure level enchantments? What? How? Isn't he, like, 16? How did he learn how to do this? And how is he growing so fast progressing so fast he got the top scores i mean then again he was trained by merlin but i feel like there's something more than that i feel like he was naturally gifted and then the fact that he had such an amazing teacher on top of that is just making his ability skyrocket through the roof so i can't wait to see what else shin has to bring to the table later into the series um, but then we had that guy from before. I don't even remember his name, and I honestly don't even care. But the guy that threatened, um, Sicilian, he's a jerk. He's a loser. He's, oh my gosh. He's a punk, and we all know he's gonna come back. Because Shin is just getting under his skin, and outclassing him, outsmarting him. Pretty much just, like, making him feel like crap. And his whole life, he's probably felt like the golden boy. So now that he feels like crap, he's gonna try to get back at Shin to feel better, to feel better about himself. So I'm sure he'll come back sometime soon, and we'll handle him when he gets here. But I think that he might go down some darker routes in order to get back at Shin, because he might realize that he doesn't have the strength or the power to take out Shin. So he might, you know make a deal with someone that he's not supposed to or pretty much do anything to get back at Shin. But anyways, all right, so my question for you guys is going to be red-haired girl or blue-haired girl? You guys vote in the comment section. Let me know who you guys are going to feel for because I like them both, but personally, Sicilian has kind of caught my heart, okay? I really like her personality. I think she's really adorable, and I really like uh, her relationship with Shin, I think it's really cool because Shin is so dense and she's so shy that she's having trouble kind of like passing hints to him and the very few hints that she's giving to him, he's just completely missing. So I think this is gonna be pretty funny down the line. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And with all of that being said, I know I enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.